JS Lee came out with a new cover. It's called Best Part, and it sounds really jazzy, so I'm going to teach you how to play it. So in terms of structure of the song, the song starts with verse 1, which starts uh, with the words, You don't know, babe. And then that's followed by pre-chorus, which starts with the words, You're the coffee that I need in the morning. And then there's a chorus, which goes uh, and repeats each time, um, I just want to see, I just want to see how beautiful you are. The chorus is followed by a tag each time, and so the tag goes, you're the best part, you're the best part, and so on. So, so far we have verse 1, pre-chorus, and chorus. So now, after that, the song goes to verse 2, and then it does another pre-chorus, and then another chorus. And then finally, the song ends with an outro. Um, and the outro goes, if you love me, won't you say something, if you love me. So in terms of the chords that we're going to learn today, there's a total of nine chords that um, are used throughout the song. Um, and there's two chord progressions. So a chord progression is a sequence of chords that are repeated in a song. Um, in this song, we have two different chord progressions. The first one sounds like this. So that's the first variation. It's played through the verses and the tags, as well as part of the outro. The second chord progression sounds like this. So this second chord progression is played through the pre-chorus as well as the chorus and part of the outro as well. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you actually how to play these chords. So if you follow on the screen, I'll have the chords drawn out so that you can place your fingers where it says on the chart. Note that the number on the top left hand side of the chord chart indicates which fret that first row of the chord chart corresponds to. So we'll start with the first chord progression. Um, and the first chord of this progression is uh, D flat major 7. So D flat major 7 looks like this. I put my index finger on the A string. My, I put my ring finger on the D string. I put my middle finger on the G string and my pinky on the B string. If you figure out different ways to arrange your fingers to play the same chords in this lesson, then be my guest. Whatever's easy for you will work. Now the second chord of this first progression is A flat minor 7, which looks like this. All of my fingers are on the same fret, it's pretty easy. After that, you're followed by D flat dominant 7 or D flat 7. And this is really just the same as the first chord, except I'm lifting my middle finger. After that, we have the G flat major 7, which looks like this. You can play this by either using your thumb on the E string or your index finger also works. So, so far with D flat major 7, A flat minor 7, D7, sorry, D flat 7 and G flat major 7. That's followed by the A major 7 chord, which is really shifted up from the previous chord. So I had G flat major 7 down here. I'm going to shift it all the way up to the 5th fret. And I'm, I'm also going to lift my middle finger. I'm not going to play that. I'm only going to play the first three notes of the chord. So it sounds like this. Um, and then the final chord for this progression is A flat dominant 7, A flat 7. Now note that this A flat 7 chord, the last chord of this progression, is not actually played during the first verse, but it's added in for the, the tag and the outro. So the whole thing sounds like this. You don't know, babe, when you hold me, 
Kiss me slowly, it's the sweetest thing And it don't change If I had it my way You would know that you are Okay, um, so that was the first chord progression, um, which, as I mentioned before, is played during the verses, as well as the tag of the chorus and part of the outro. Now, the second chord progression is slightly more complicated. It uses most of the same chords, but there are a few new ones. And so it starts with the D flat major seven, which we've already learned. And then it jumps straight to the A flat minor 7, which we've also learned. And then D7 again. The only thing about this is that it, these chords are played in faster succession than in the first chord progression. So in the first progression, um, the D flat major 7 had its, own, had its own entire bar. And you had to pause a little longer before jumping to the A flat minor 7. But in this case, it jumps right away. So I'll play the first chord progression first, and then I'll play the second chord progression so you can hear the difference. So the first chord progression is. And then the second progression sounds like this. So those of you who have taken music theory will know that in the first chord progression I played these three chords over two bars, whereas in the second chord progression I played all three of these chords in the same bar. Now the fourth chord of the second progression is also one that we've learned before, it's the G flat major 7. Um, so so far everything's been, the, everything's been the same, it's just the timing of the chords has changed. Now, the fifth chord is a new one, it's B7, which looks like this. So I'm only playing three notes. After that we have F minor 7, and then we're jumping up to B flat minor 7. So every time I have a minor 7 chord, the shape of my chord actually is the same. I'm just moving it up on different frets. So following the B flat minor 7 I just played, we have the A major 7, which we've already learned before, and then followed by the A flat 7, which looks like this, and we've also learned that one before. So when I play the entire progression through, it sounds like this. I just want to see, I just want to see how beautiful you know that I see it, I know your star. So that's literally all the chords you have to learn for this song, so enjoy. <laughs>